Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to part two of today's stream where we do some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 Fiend Tale run. I pressed record that time. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Okay, let's get the volume going. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, next stop, Gazette. We've got a couple more cactuars to go, and then we'll be back on fiends. Um, and I can eat my snacks. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah, Mount Gazette. Do I have to walk up? Oh no, I don't have to. Okay, fabulous. He's um in the Seymour area, I think. In the place where you fight Seymour that one time. So I think if I walk... Oh, wait. Is this... Yeah, no, this is right. This is right. I'm pretty sure this is correct. I always get turned around up here, though. I guess I can eat some of these olives and stuff. I can just pick that up. Easy as pie. Yeah, because I think if I went the other direction, that's where you would normally fight the um the guardian. The big dragon thing. This direction takes you to where you would fight Seymour. The green olives have pits. I did not realize that. Okay, wait. I think. Okay. I think there's a better way. I think I'm about to get myself turned around again. I don't think I needed to go to Summit. Yeah, Mountain Gate. Let's heal up Yuna. Oh, not board airship. Dang it. Go back to Gagazette. Okay, I think if I go mountain trail, it'll take me up to where Kamari and Garrick are. And then I can watch that scene and then he's right past here. Oh, no, they're not here. Okay, so if you don't follow them up, then they're not there. Interesting. Yep, yep, okay. This was the better idea. Ariel and his big brothers. Mm -mm.
Okay. That one took a little longer than it should have, but we've been doing all the other ones super speedy. Okay. Next. Back to Beaconel. Let's go. mother. Oh, back here. <coughs> My daughter adores money. <laughs> That's the just All right, this next one is back in Kilika, but um, but she's in the port, not the woods. So, okay, that was weird. It was like black for like a little bit too long. I was like, uh, did something happen? But nothing happened. It's all good. Oh wait, not here. It's on the next screen. We have to go to Donna's house. This cactuar wants a man of means. What's up? Barcella, their um their gill is uh it's on the roof. I think you just needed to walk up the stairs. I'm gonna get you, kid. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Plan chase. Gaining on you. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I, I would have caught him. I would have. All right, back to Beacon L. Alright, this is the last mother. That's the gist of And he is back here. I don't think I'm supposed to like fully beat this area, but I'm not sure.
All right, Marnola, help me out. Found him. He's uh he's inside the thing. <coughs> yeah, see all the other gatekeepers know. They all know where he is, the little troublemaker. Nice place. It says this is where the rope I guess the gatekeeper fell in with the wrong car. Ah, let's teach them some social. Okay, I think this is all I have to do. I think I can walk right back out of here. I don't actually have to finish this dungeon. Okay, let's save real quick. And then I should be able to capture all the fiends I want to capture in Beacon L. I think I have one spot open right now. Let's go peek. Yes, I do. Okay. So I think we'll we'll know if this worked if we go try to capture some of the large ones. Okay, so let's go uh, Beacon El Desert. Let's see who comes up. All right, we got the wasp queen. Okay, I, I do think that this worked then. I do think that this worked. Because I don't think those large ones come up if you don't open up the cactuar hollow. Oh, not return to airship. I meant to go to the fiend arena. It's time to level up some fiends again. <clears throat> okay. Let's do our mediums and smalls first, and then we'll move on to the larges. So we'll do these these machinas. These medium and small machinas. It's not black tome, it's black lore. There we go. Okay, here we go. Gonna beat him up. I'll try this little croissant sandwich thing. There was a bunch of different ones. There was like an egg salad and like a um there was like a, a chicken salad, a tuna salad. Anyway, I think I grabbed the chicken salad. We're gonna find out. So I went in the Power World Devs use AI for art stuff and stole fake Pokemon designs from the internet, and apparently one of the devs is an NFT bro. What the fuck, really? Okay, so I literally just said this morning when I was talking about this game that like um that like uh, a lot of it looked very similar to uh, to certain Fakemon. So like I'm not surprised. It's still a really good game though. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm already addicted, so I'm probably gonna keep playing it. But like, I I suspect that this whole thing of like um, AI art and stuff in uh, in various commercial product is gonna continue to be a problem. Um, okay, two S's. I don't think I need any more smalls. But that really sucks. That really, really sucks to hear. But you know what? 
not, I'm honestly not surprised. Like, the pressures of having to create corporately, like, you know. Oh, I didn't mean to get another S one. Like, there's certain times that I'll use AI for brainstorming, you know. Because you just, sometimes you just need to be able to do that because you don't have anyone to talk to. Okay, using fake Hemon designs, like, that's pretty messed up. But I think it's kind of bound to happen whenever you're, um, designing something that's literally Game Freak's art style. I mean, but everything about that game is incredibly derivative. They just happen to execute it very, very well, which is why people are forgiving them for being so derivative. Like, the sound effects. The sound effects, um, are literally Breath of the Wild in Tears of the Kingdom sound effects. The game goods was seen so much seemingly stolen art and just blatantly obvious, yeah. It is sad. It is sad, but everyone loves it because the execution is really good. Which, you know, just shows, like, what game devs could be doing with their own IPs if they would just execute well, you know? So, hopefully, because of this, we'll get an actually good Pokemon game. That would be nice. Because Game Freak's reaction to this should be to be very nervous. They haven't shown concept art either, anywhere either, which is sus. Yeah, that's super sus. It's probably because from the concept art, you'd be able to see that it's ridiculously derivative, practically stolen. That's probably what you would see. I press keep pressing the wrong button. We'll have to waste some of those S's. All they gotta do is show concept art and prove that the art isn't stolen. Yeah, but it, probably if you looked at the concept art, the concept art would be incredibly similar. If they even have it. So it wouldn't prove anything. Like, I mean, I've been playing it. Like, I can tell you. Like, what I have seen. And I even thought that before you said anything, so. <clears throat> I need to go waste some of those small ones because we have too many now. I need to collect more. I don't think anyone cares that it's Pokemon slightly to the left. The part people care about is the AI art and the stolen art. Yeah. I don't disagree. But I'm not surprised to hear it. There's a lot of Pokemon slightly to the left games out there. Most of them can prove their art is their own. They sure can. But it's not just the Game Freak anime looking Pokemon slightly to the left in this game. Everything, I'm telling you, everything in this game is derivative of some other game. It's just actually well executed. Like everything. Literally everything. It's Pokemon Arc Breath of the Wild. But the reason it's popular is because they executed all of it very, very well, and the gameplay loops all feed into each other. That's what's unique about this game. And why I think it's not going to matter if they did some shady things to get there. Because it's so well executed, it's not going to make any difference on the popularity or the amount of money that they make. Okay, so I want to just get specials and larges, I think. <clears throat> What's, um, where did you find out about that, Koneko? Is, are, like, people saying it on Twitter? Or is it, like, an article? Like, where is it? I want to know, I want to know who blew the lid. Because I'm, like, so super not surprised. To level two. 
Uh, yeah. We have the opposite opinions, and I don't think it matters how good the game is. If it, it's built on art theft, it's trash. I mean, I don't, I don't disagree. I really think we have the same opinions. I just think it doesn't matter. I think it makes no difference into the success of this game. And how people will feel about it. Something about it came up on YouTube and I recognized some of the Fakemon designs. Yeah. I mean, I did too just from playing it. I thought a lot of the stuff like looked straight up like Fakemon I've seen. So if I search YouTube, I'll find the video you're talking about. Right now, I got food. You can come up here in just a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not surprised. Because this game came out of nowhere. I don't care that they're using Fakemon, that's fine. The fact that they can't prove they made those designs is Steel Breaker. They probably don't have it. <laughs> like, like, really. Like, I've been playing this game and I'm telling you, like, it's not just that that is derivative that we've seen it before that's like, copied and adjusted ever so slightly. It's not just that. Like, it's even the sound design. Like, the sound effects, the music, all the musical cues. It's straight up Breath of the Wild. That's just how they just... Every element of the game is that way. They stole it, okay? And they're like, how can we make this so it's executed so incredibly well? And that's what they did. They didn't spend their time, like, making their own sound design. They didn't spend their time making their own art, right? They took it, what they took what already worked and they made really good gameplay loops out of it. So like, it's not just that, like it's really, it's the whole game. The whole game is like that. That's been my take playing it. And I don't know if they would have spent time on that stuff if it would be a, if it would be a better game. You know, or if it wouldn't be because they actually spent time, you know, not stealing. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it may, I kind of wonder if, like, the whole reason that this game was being so well received compared to other Pokemon-like games is because what they the thing that they spent time on is making sure that it had good interconnected gameplay loops that are really fun and addicting. And they didn't really spend time on much else. <laughs> Only that, nothing else, right? <clears throat> Which again just shows that like what Game Freak could be doing. What Game Freak could be spending their time on. Because they already have all the assets and everything. They wouldn't have to like steal art or whatever. Things we could have had. Game Freak refuses to give games the time they need to develop. Yeah. 
100% because like look what these people did well I mean I know you haven't played it but I'm sure you've seen gameplay so you can probably tell looking at it look what these people did by actually focusing on the gameplay and making a game that functioned that was fun and addicting instead of spending time whatever the heck Game Freak spends its time on seemingly nothing I don't know. Making new designs. New Pokemon designs. That's the only thing they have done at all recently. Like, even this has a very similar part. One of the gameplay loops, say, because there's many. One of the gameplay loops is very similar to the Legends Arceus gameplay loop. Going out and um, throwing balls and catching the little monsters in the world, right? Only... The way it's done in this game is so much more engaging and so much smoother because of the way that you do the um, overworld battles where you have a bow and arrow, right? Where you have a club, excuse me, as well as being able to throw out your party members to fight without going into a battle screen. You just, you don't go into a battle screen, you just do it, right? So that's what I mean. Like they took things that existed and just m executed them so much better than the original work. <clears throat> and like it's got Breath of the Wild stuff in it too, right? Like you climb, you've got a stamina bar, you've got a glider, right? Um, a lot of the, any, any of the little Pokemons in this game that look rideable, or rideable. You can make a saddle for them and you can get on them and you can ride. Vast majority of them that look rideable are rideable. You know, big enough to be rideable. There are Pokemon that you can um, pick up and use. Like the little Firefox thing. You can use it like a blowtorch if you make a little harness for it. You know? I didn't mean to click that. I want to read your history. So, like, that's what I mean. Like, they really just said, like, look what you guys could have been had. Look what you guys could have been had. Okay, we're only on story level three. Okay, we gotta do two more. Two more. Sorry, I'm thinking about Pal World now, so I'm, like, so not keeping up with my count. The game is, it's very addicting. Um, Okay. Enter tournament. Like, the only reason I didn't decide to stream it this weekend and decided to do my normal stream, truly, is because I have to play it small and windowed because, of course, it's a freaking Unreal Engine game. So the camera is way too freaking close to your character and it, it tr triggers my simulation sickness if I make it the whole screen. So I have to window it and make it small and then I can play it. <clears throat> and, of course, that's going to be a really weird, ugly-looking stream, so not streaming it but yeah I'm, like super addicted excuse me um now, if only we could have good gameplay with actual original designs instead of basic bitch Pokemon fusions that look like they're ripped straight from the Pokemon fusion site. I'm sure they could do better. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like, if what we get out of this is, like, a real um, good new Pokemon game, that would, be, that would be the ideal outcome. That would be the ideal outcome. Because, of course, that would have, like, you know, new original designs and all that stuff. If we could get, like, the next Legends Arceus having, like, base building in it and having a better, like, battle and catching system the way this game has, honestly, like, if the next Arceus-like, whatever they call that game, if they're making, if they make another one, just basically ripped off everything <laughs> from this game, <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be so good. With, with new designs in, like, Pokemon sound design instead of Breath of the Wild sound design, you know? That would be, that would be a dream. 
Okay, one more tournament and then I think we can do their things. Literally, again, if those devs would do actual art or if the game pretty took inspiration from better gameplay flow, we'd have a great game. Yep, and so we have good gameplay, sad art, good art, choppy gameplay, right? We can never have exactly what we deserve. I didn't buy it, by the way, if you were curious. I'm playing it on Game Pass. <clears throat> But I was thinking about buying it. Buying the full version, you know, whenever it's like not in beta or whatever. We'll have to see how long the addiction holds me. Um, but this new information makes me wonder if I should do that or not do that, but I don't know. It's hard to know because games are made by whole teams, you know? And just because the per person who did the direction of the, uh, of the monster designs is no bueno. Um, and I think the sound design is similar. I don't know. I mean, because there's, it's like all the elements are like this, so who knows? Maybe they're all trash people. <clears throat> but again, like, I don't believe stealing an art is bad either. <laughs> the only reason it's bad is because of capitalism. If we didn't have that economic system, then stealing art would be, like, good. <laughs> and it would be awesome that they did this, you know? Things Game Pass is good for not buying games. Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go play some more tonight. In between stream time and uh, raid time in a while. Well, we're, we raid on Sunday nights, but I'll play it in between for sure. And probably after raid, I'll play some more until bedtime. It's like, it's it ridiculously addicting. Like, I cannot... I cannot emphasize that enough. <laughs> How insanely good the gameplay loops are. Okay, was I, did I do two tournaments or one? Okay, let's go peek. Uh, Assault Machina, that's what we're doing. Okay, no, 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 he's only on story level three. My God. Okay, two more tournaments. Uh, Fiend Arena, yes. New controversy in progress. This is a new controversy. I'm waiting out of it. One of the devs being an NFT bro is sad, but I've heard that the team is very small, so I'm not optimistic about it. Yeah. Like, I'm not optimistic about that either. Like, I think if you if you scratch the surface, you'll probably find more of that nonsense because, like I said, everything in that game is copied from other games. It's like they took, like, like their four favorite games and, like, smooshed them together. Um... And, and the only thing that's original about it is how those gameplay loops are interconnected um, and how smooth they are, right? But each individual element isn't. It's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like um, how I might, what I might recommend to do for like building a Dungeons and Dragons campaign or world or something of that nature, right? That's really the best way if you are like busy and you're trying to put something like that together for your friends. That's the best thing to do to create something good and fun, right? So that's what they did. Except it's a commercial product, not a D&D campaign for your friends, right? <clears throat> so I'm definitely going to go look on YouTube, look for that video you're talking about. Because I want to know. I want to know what they're saying in the specifics, right? Because the devil's in the details when it comes to stuff like that. About whether it crosses the line or if it doesn't cross the line. <clears throat> so I am super curious now. I found a different one that's a bit more detailed watching that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you find one that's actually got, like, the specifics and side-by-sides and, and things like that, like, I would love to see it. Because, like I said, I feel like I noticed it just from playing. It's like, I want to see what someone who's actually researched it has put together.
Alright, this should be the last one, I think, and then their their tail should be ready for us to go take a peek at them. Dang it, they need one more. I keep I keep getting distracted. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. One more, one more. Alright, one more tournament. So they're they're high enough level where they're not leveling up at all now, so I really have to do like five tournaments. Four. Excuse me, like five tournaments to get them all the way up to where they need to be. Alright, this is the last battle. And then we can go watch their, um, bean tails. Salt Machina. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna mark this one because they all these all guys all look kind of the same. Okay, so Assault Machina is the one that we're doing right now. I am a multi-purpose rental machina. I will take on any task you want me to perform. Oh, but not just right now. Why? Because I'm currently on assignment. I can't move on to the next task until I finish this errand. But it's proving quite difficult. Could I ask you all for some assistance? My current mistress is female, and she's charged me with finding her first crush. But what is this first crush she speaks of? I can't find it if I don't know what it is. Oh, her first love. Is that what it means? I see. Her first love. Hmm. And now, what is this thing called love? Anyway, I just need to find a person, a male. The mistress said that I should look for features. Do you know wh where I can find features? I see. The features belong to the person. Then we must look for people carrying features. Okay, so the first crush has features and the features are carried by people and what exactly should I be looking for? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's right. The mistress said that the feature was a caruncle. Do you know what that is? Ah, I see, on the head, indeed. So then, is this the mistress's first crush? Yes, the mistress is young, slim and refined, a true beauty. Master brother, may I ask you to come with me to meet my mistress? Holy shit. The videos are being like, okay, this has been said, but there's no hard proof one way or the other. It's literally too early for anyone to have a detailed date. Well, I felt... Okay. This is the problem with needing to be first on YouTube, y'all. Anyone who has played the game has realized this, that there is clearly incredibly derivative stuff in there. 
that might possibly be stolen. Like I was literally just talking with my husband about it this morning where I said, some of this shit looks like fake Emons. Truly, and like he was talking about how the sound design is basically Breath of the Wild. It's the same sound, but if there's no proof, why? Why YouTubers making me think that there's something there more than what I already noticed? Jesus Christ. People will just do anything to get clicks on a video. Someone will actually research this and publish it. I would love to know more because I really do think there's something there. Jesus. Well, thank you, Koneko. I do appreciate you telling me <laughs> and, and doing the looking for me to see what's out there. So I'm aware because I do think that this is probably true and that there's more to it. But like, I don't got time to research that. I'm busy doing my 40 hour a week job and streaming Final Fantasy for you guys. Anyways, let's watch this fiend tale. Mistress, I have returned. The errand is complete. I've brought back your first crush. Really? Where? Oh no. Oh no. What? What? Brother? <laughs> oh my god! Um... Wrong. Completely wrong. Oh, this? This is the Karukul. Were you listening at all? What I said was a person with golden spectacles. This is a Karunkel, not spectacles. It's called a Karunkel. I'm so confused. Try saying it. Karunkel. Karunkel. Spectacles, spectacles. Those are completely different words. I don't, I don't understand. This thing isn't very smart. Maybe it was funnier in the Japanese. Oh, wrong person. Ah, brother is crushed. Poor brother. <laughs> All right, the next one is Makina Leader. Oh, but he's not ready yet. Okay, he needs more. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's put the other medium one in the part, eh? I want to go try to trap the one small one that we need next. So let's go to Beaconel. And let's try to catch the small one. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Yes, we did. Okay, that's the small one we needed. Okay, and then set trap pod. No, because I'm gonna have to get two cactuars, just the same as the chocobo because of the um, the cup. Okay, so actually I'm not gonna waste, I was gonna waste that small one, but we're not gonna waste it. Just kidding. Okay, let's go do more Fiend Arena. I 
never sped it back up. I never sped it back up this time. That's why things seem so much slower. I have a need for speed. Yes, we need L's. There's lots of large ones in Beacon L to capture. This has been said, but there's no hard proof one way or the other. Like, that's just like, there's, there's just like Twitter posting about it, you know? And then they want to post videos, like, making me think that there's more to it. Than the, just the obvious sniff test. I'm going to keep an eye on seeing since Solid comes up, especially regarding the NFT stuff and concept art. Those are the most damaging things for the devs, for sure, yeah. Bro show. I don't know, I'm a little sympathetic to idiots being NFT bros, to be honest, because, like, when you hear the way normies talk about NFTs, like they don't they don't understand. They do not understand. So like what level of NFT bro is this person? Like actually purchased NFTs or like thinks they're cool and talks about them? You know what I mean? Cuz if they're just thinks they're cool and talks about them, then like that's not really the same thing. Lots of normies are like that. Like, I know people at work that are like that. And they're otherwise smart, they just don't really know anything about NFTs to realize how fucking stupid they are. And they've not researched it at all. They just, like, catch the vibes and think it's cool. You know? Because some people made money off of them, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So... Without knowing what, what NFT bro means for him exactly, it's really hard for me to say if that's, like, sinful or not sinful. Okay, the little one should be ready after this. Oh, I'm glad they opened with a flare so that that battle didn't take forever. I think it's the NFT owner situation. I see. Maybe with that, it's hard to tell since it's a, if it's a past or present thing. Yeah. Well, because a lot of people got duped into NFTs before they researched it. So, like, when did he buy it? Like, there's a lot of details there. But if it's true, then Power World NFTs are probably going to be a thing. And then we'll know, oh my god, if Power World NFTs are going to be a thing, they're going to get so roasted. The whole internet is going to roast them. Like, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. <clears throat> like, I will be so shocked. Okay, here we go. Machina leader. Uh, yes. Machina leader. Connecting. Checking data. Connecting. Checking data. Brother data. 99.99% .99 analyzed. Priority. Zero. Data. Erased. Oh my god. What is this? Okay. They're connecting. Okay. I'm not gonna say it again. Oh wait. Okay. Yuna, Riku, Pain, data, 75% analyzed, priority, zero for Riku only, Riku data erased. Why are they erasing Riku data? <laughs> what? Buddy data, 86% analyzed, priority, zero data erased. Shinra data, 2% analyzed, priority, maximum investigate. Oh my god, what is happening? LeBlanc? Scout machine has returned.
What does LeBlanc care about Shinra? Punishment time. What? Did Shinra reprogram the Machina to attack the LeBlanc Syndicate? Oh my goodness, Machina, Machina leader is Dalek investigate is true. <laughs> it's true. Every time, every time it's all caps, Machina um, text like that, all I can, I can only hear it in the Dalek voice. <clears throat> All right, let's get the other small Machina. Yeah, Machina soldier. Okay. Yes. And we're sped up now, so it's not going to be forever in a day. It's funny, some of the Machina in this have, like, all caps text. Like, they, like they actually talk like robots, but then some of them, like, it's regular text as if they're using some kind of, like, actual human simulated voice. Um... There doesn't seem to be any consistency in uh, how the Machina talk or, or don't talk. Like the Machina have better vocal intelligence depending on their purpose. It does seem that way. Like they're more likely to not have the all text, all all caps text if like um, they had a higher, more intelligent purpose or or desire it for themselves. Like some of the Machina have this desire for themselves even if it wasn't built into them, or that's what's being implied anyway. This is definitely a robots or people too situation. Because some of these Machina have definitely been people, too. But some of them have been just machines. <clears throat> right, again, again, again! I want to go again! I'm not going to go check because I know neither of them are ready yet. We're just going to do another tournament. We're going to do three in a row before I go check. <clears throat> Standard. Oh my god, that's not what I meant to do. Can I get them out of the, the thing? <sighs> if I put them all the way down to one star, will they run away from the tournament? Yeah, okay. <gasps> sorry, sorry guys, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that tournament. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad. Okay. 
Yeah, we want to do the Grand Cup. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Oh, I just noticed they're not getting their Fiendtail bonuses. Are they too high level now? Do we have to do the, the Grand Cup hard? I let them level up too much. Yep. That is exactly what's happening. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's go try the Grand Cup hard. I guess 45 was the limit for the Grand Cup. Okay, let's do this one. It's a running gag that there's always food talk. Guess what I literally just walked into? Yep, food talk, of course. I love food talk. <laughs> yeah, we got all the, we got for football snacks today, all those platters from Publix. We got like one with croissant sandwiches, we got one with the sushi, and we got one that's like charcuterie, like olives and cheese and stuff. Um, I had some for snack, it was so good. So good, I'm gonna have some more after stream. Full show. Definitely at least the sushi one. Okay, now let me actually win this, okay? Give me a final one that's uh, that I can win, please. What's up? Oh, I have put it in this garbage. But you can take these. Not right now, thank you, though. Okay. Hopefully the final one it gives me is not ridiculous. All right, who am I up against? Tonberry the Ripper. Because I can totally beat that. Definitely can't. He's definitely just going to kill me. It's just not fair. It's not fair. Why does it have to give me this one? I just, I can't beat the giant Tonberry. Yes, I know. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Okay, let's try that again. Can we not get Tonberry the Ripper for our final boss? That's like, that's just not one that we can beat. Please, one of the others, beat Tonberry the Ripper. Please, please. I would appreciate it. Oh, 
Oh, we're fighting him second. That's better. That's, e that's even better. Now we can die way faster. I love it. I love this for us. Um, I'm good with it. You know, I'm happy. I'm thriving. Skin clear. You're just gonna get in a heal loop. Just, just let him kill you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have made this hard on myself by letting my fiends get too high a level. I didn't realize 45 was really the limit that I should be putting at. So, but it's too late now. We're past that. So, uh, this is just how it is. Someday we'll beat Tonberry the Ripper. I don't know what day that is. Not today, but someday. Maybe. If there are fiends that can, like, auto-battle beat him, I would love to know. Maybe it's just an answer of, like, they have to be, you know, level 99 or whatever. Oh, I don't know if the Machinas can beat this guy. He takes forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we might have to go back to just taking them out in the wild and leveling them up. Instead of doing these tournaments and trying to get the, uh, Fiendtail bonus. It might be better. I say this as I- as I enter the tournament again. Okay, I saw Tom Berry the Ripper on there. Someone better beat him up for me. Again. There he is again. Yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go out into the world, I think, and level up and uh, be leveling our fiends that way. Because this guy is like uber boss level. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. He's only got three story levels. He's got four story levels, okay. Let's see, why don't we try just beating up No Mercy? We just need two more levels. We just need two more levels. So just try beating up No Mercy. Because he should give a decent amount of experience. Just like we did with farming Gil, we'll farm him for experience. I 
lady. What's up? You come say hello? I can't really reach you down there. You're like down on the floor and behind me. Come on. Come up on the desk. I can't I can't really reach you down there. Okay. Did they just level up? I thought I heard the ding. Oh, not you. Hi, lady. Come here. Oh, yeah, he didn't. Okay. We're gonna have to think of a different strategy for how we do this. Oh, we don't need spazzy. Hang on. Where's... Okay, get on there. Okay. Um... What is it, lady? Yeah, you can't really get past that, can you? Oh, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna make it happen. Yeah, there's not really a double XP. Hi, yes, hello baby. It's not really a double XP garment grid, maybe... Let's see... What does Covenant of Growth do for the fiends if I put that on there? Okay, if I do dress spheres... Oh wait, not dress spheres. Yeah, garment grids... Yeah, we'll do this one. Let me put... Put Lady Luck on there, and we put Mascot on there. Um, Equip Killer Machina. So if I give them... Not higher power. Covenant of Growth. Double XP of Peck. Okay. Yeah, so this will do double XP. Grants the use of two dice. Okay. So we'll do... Yeah, so we'll give them double XP. We'll still do the rest of it. Let's go into the battle simulator. Let's see, what are the... There's a lot of these. Oh, these are five stars. These six stars. Oh my god, there's two additional stars? What the heck? Okay, let's do um the earthworm. See how much experience he gives when we're doing double XP. Oh, let's speed him back up. Okay, that got them a level. Okay, let's go again. Okay, this might be the play for right now.
Okay, maybe fight him one or two more times, and they should level up again. Okay, once more for the other one to level up to. Okay, yep, okay. So 45 is the cutoff. If we can't, if they get past 45, then we can't tournament them anymore. Okay, my primary function is to record things, but my memory circuits were damaged when I was captured. Shinra, you have to fix me. Shinra insists I'm not broken at all, but maybe he's just saying that because my circuitry is too complex for him. I suppose I'll have to try fixing myself then. That means I need to trace back my memories to the very beginning. Memory retrieval, level one. I was created by a genius Albed professor. When I was born, he took good care of me, saying I was his latest invention. My memory circuits are starting to operate normally again. Memory Retrieval, Level 2. Memories of my creator. When I was three, we celebrated a high-level excavation I successfully supported. That night, after celebrating, he did something to me. Something I don't want to remember. My memory, such pain. Oh my god. Now it's in our bed, okay. Memory circuits restored, activating work protocols. Memory circuits restored. Priority task resumed. Oh god. Guess he did something bad and got deactivated. I am an obsolete Machina model. I guess that wasn't in all caps. The professor input my final assignment. But he can barely talk, he's like going so slow. My final assignment is detonating the excavation site. What? Why would you do that? I will dig a deep hole and serve the public good. What's wrong with the excavation site? That is my final mission. Goodbye, Professor. Is it not okay to dig in the sand? I don't understand. Well, at least he didn't explode in the excavation site like I thought he was supposed to. Poor thing, he just exploded himself. Oh, I don't like that, Professor. That's not right. All right. Hate. I hate all life. Oh god, we're gonna have another crazy- okay. They let time pass by as they wallow in their ignorance. Hate. I hate those who smile with not a cloud of doubt. Those that would smugly lecture on the sanctity of life. Hate. 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 I'm filled with hate for them all. Shinra analysis. What a weird machina. It seems to have a soul. Hate is born in the soul. Okay. Have you ever been betrayed? Have you ever been seared by the flames of hell? Have you ever tasted the pain of not being able to run? Have you ever endured insufferable insults? Everything should just disappear, fade into oblivion. My research that was so precious to them all, subordinates, family, friends, they would all abandon me. They would all betray me. If I did all I could for humanity, gave my very life to protect it, and yet they still betrayed me, then there's nothing left to be said. My hate shall never subside, even if my body is ground into dust. I am fury, the fury and hatred of humans that survive even death. I thank you for listening to me. I'm sure it was not very pleasant to hear, but if I didn't let this fury out, I could not find peace. Maybe all I needed was someone to listen. Now it appears I've finally been liberated from my hate. Thank you again. 
Did we just talk therapy to this robot? I think we did. I think we did some talk therapy to this robot. What? Is this another person that died and became a Machina situation? Except it's legit, not just some, like, recording? Be well. Holy shit. The other stories, I thought, like, it wasn't real. It was like a recording stuck inside the Machina or something. There's no power source. Shouldn't even be moving at all. The world is full of wonders. Yes, it is, Shinra. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, let's trap some creatures. Okay. We're still in B Canal. So there's a medium one we need to capture. Big bully cap. Yes, that's what we need. Now it's just a bunch of large ones and then also another cactuar. Let me see how many slots we have. Two slots. Okay, so what we should do then... Let's do a team of the, no, not the Chocobo. The Big Bully Cat and the Cactuar. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna double XP them. So it's definitely more valuable right now than them having the Moogle Cure. it is. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's trap two more large ones. Oh, Jumbo Cactuar! Okay. I wonder if you can enter the Cactuar tournament with Jumbo Cactuar. I bet you can. Okay, one more. Okay, yes. The Chief. All right, 44 and 37. Okay, so yeah, 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 enter tournament. Let's try some Grand Cup hard. Let's do it. See what happens with these guys. Eventually I'm gonna find a fiend that can beat the Tonberry.
Uh, no, we just need larges and specials right now. God, the big bully cap is gigantic. He's so big. I can't believe he fit in a medium trap pod and he didn't need a large one. Oh, this one. This one gets me. Fucking Ultima. Yeah, I can't beat these guys either. This is ridiculous. Stupid. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. I don't need, I don't need two smalls. Okay, let's see about the Cactuar Cup. We still haven't been able to beat that one. Maybe this is the team to do it. Because it's, with the, with the hard cup... With the Grand Cup hard, it's just specific battles that I cannot beat. If those get thrown at me, I'm not going to be able to do it. But maybe I'd be good on this one. Come on, just flare him. Just flare. There we go. Keep going. Oh, he has a guard against Flare. Really? You can't just Flare the Cactuars? Wait, how do you beat them then? Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay. Anyways. Let's just do regular Grand Cup. The Our little Cactuar can get that. Because he's lower than 45. So he should get the fiend tail bonuses. If I got that right, that it's 45, that it changes over. I wish he would stop doing the powders. No. Got him. Yes, if I'm right, the Cactuar is going to get a Fiend Tail bonus at the end, but the Big Bully Cap will not. Because he already got to level 45 now.
Oh, it's not. Uh, oh, because I'm doing the regular Grand Cup. That's right. I was like, it's not Tom Barry the Ripper. But this isn't Grand Cup hard. This is regular Grand Cup. So of course it's not. Duh. Okay. Winner, winner. Uh, no. Yeah, Cactuar got a Fiend Tail bonus. Yep, but Big Bully Cap did not. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Gosh, there's so many big ones. Okay, Cactuar just needs one more. And where is Big Bully Cap at? Yeah, he only has a story level two. Okay. Yeah, Cactuar's 39. Okay. So... Let's try Grand Cup Bard. Just, I just feel like I should be able to beat this one. This cup. I mean, I have before, but not since unlocking Tonberry the Ripper. And I can probably beat it with the girls, you know? Because I can control them. But with the fiends, it's hard. Okay, who's next? Dragon King Jr. Okay, we can beat him. What's up, Zalamander? Oh, but he's got a guard against Flare. I wonder why. So I take it back, he may be tough. Oh no, we lost. Because Bully Cap can't do anything against him now. Because the flare's not working. Yeah, he can't be. He can't be magic. He's got to be hit. Well, dang it. I swear I flared him before and he did die, but maybe not. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm thinking of the Claret Dragon one. Just stop healing, Bully. You can't you can't do it. It's not you don't have a physical attack. I gotta stop trying this. <laughs> I just keep thinking like this time, this time, but no. We'll just fight this guy with our double XP. we go. We need to get cacked to our level and then we'll go check on the progress on their tails. Okay, one more.
Alrighty. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, he only has up to story level three. He just got the one level up. The Cactuar should be good. Okay, and then we'll just catch another. Hey, do you know about Blitzball? There's a tournament in Luka, right? When I grow up, I'm going to be a Blitzball player. You want to know why? Because I was once trained by the greatest Blitzball player in Spira. <laughs> It was a long time ago now, but a guy with a huge sword wandered into the oasis. He had strayed from his traveling mates, and he stayed in the oasis for three days. That's when he taught me how to blitz. We didn't speak the same language, but I still had a lot of fun. I'm clumsy, so it takes a lot of practice for me to get better, but I still practice what he taught me every day. He used to say the only thing the untalented can do is practice, with a big laugh. I kept ripping the balls with my needles. Then when I get tense, um, the ball he gave me is full of holes. I wonder where he is. I wish I could meet him again. I'm sure we'll see each other when, when I become a player, right? I heard a rumor that said that guy was dead, but it's just a rumor, right? I'm gonna practice harder and harder, and one day I'm gonna go see him. And when I do, I'll do the shot, the one he showed me on the last day. He'll be so surprised, I'd love to hear that laugh again. So that's why, that's why the rumor can't be true. Okay, it's jacked, right? Right? He met Jacked back then. So I just have to. Whoa, whoa! whoa. Or is this the guy? Is this a flashback and this is the guy? I'm just no good. I can never go see him at this rate. Oh no, it is Jekt! I knew it! I knew it! Oh? You came back! Is your important business all done? I've been practicing every day just like you told me to. Shooting is so hard, but I'll work on it. Look, look! Yes, I did it! Did you see? Ah, oh, he's sleeping! It was a dream. I knew somewhere in my heart that I would never see him again. Oh. Oh. This ball's been signed. This is cool. Huh? He's close by, watching over me. Oh, he signed the ball <laughs> in from the dream. Oh, Jack. Oh, that one was so sad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want the special. Oh my gosh. Okay, we just have one open spot. Okay, I'm gonna go get another cactuar. Yep, 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 yep. I know the theme tale's complete, but we need another one. Okay. Alright, let's do... Okay, so our big bully cap needs two more story levels. And what if we put the chocobo in there? Give him black lore. Where is it? There we go. Iron Duke. Let's try the Chocobo Cup again. Because I'm a glutton. That was cute, the Cactuar one had to do with Jacked and Blitzball. Okay, we got past the first one. Alright. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this one? Oh, just two chocobos. Okay. Okay. So if we don't give them a chance to buff, we can we can do pretty good. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, no, we don't need that one. Okay, it's the anything eater and a chocobo. This one should be hard, so let's see. Yeah, 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 I was scared of that. Yeah, he had reflect, my dude. He had reflect. No bueno. Okay, well, we Bully Cap got one level. And we were really close. Okay. It's that stupid reflect. Um, okay, let's do... Let's try again. I just feel like if luck is on our side, we could beat that one. Some hug bugs. Oh, it's hug bugs. That's funny. Oh, this one again. Okay, get him before he has a reflect, or does he have reflect on automatically? Like, what the fuck? Oh no, it's my. They're casting Mighty Guard. That's what's happening. Okay, if I don't end up having to fight the anything eater one, then I would win this. So let me just let me just try again. Yes. I just I really I just really want this to happen, and I feel like it sh it could happen. It could and should happen. Okay, next is Gishel Hunters. Okay. Fish and chips, I'm counting on you to be the last one. Oh, the Gishel Hunters is the one that just two, two chocobos. Okay. Black Sky? <laughs> it has Black Sky? The heck? <gasps> wow. Unexpected. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay. We can beat this one. Got it. Okay. Good job, fish and chips. Thank you for beating up the anything eater for me so I didn't have to. Now we beat in this cup. Winner. Um, we don't need that. Do we get a fiend tail bonus? Yes. Big Bully Cap did get a fiend tail bonus. Okay, nice. Now we beat in this cup. Fabulous. Okay, let's see Big Bully Cap's Fiend Tail. So we should have it now. Yep, okay. The concert on the Thunder Plains was great. I may be a fiend, but I was really moved. Quarreling humans came together as one. I want to be able to unite people as you do, Lady Yuna. I'll have to keep practicing. I actually dreamt of becoming a singer, you know. Save up some money, then go to Luca for my debut. But then Sin assaulted my village and I was sent off to the far plane. I think it was because I haven't given up my dream. Now that I'm this fungal form, now I'm in this fungal form, but I'm still chasing my dreams. I practice every night in secret. You, you wanna hear? Oh no, I couldn't possibly. I'm just too embarrassed. I found a wonderful voice coach right here on the airship. It's the barkeep. He's a very generous teacher. And when he's listening, I can feel myself getting better and better. I've just got to hold a concert. The spotlight is waiting for me. Girl, you get your concert. 
Oh my gosh, you get it. Late at night when everyone is asleep, tonight is my top secret live performance. If it's secret, how is it a live performance? You're, you're going to do it for no one? No, you need an audience. The tickets the master made for me immediately sold out. Okay, I'm very confused. I'm told my Fiend fans are anxious to see me live. Oh, Fiend concert. Okay. It's secret from the humans. Big bully cap. Break a leg. Thank you all for coming out to see me tonight. And now, I'll sing with all of my heart. La 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 What's happening? <gasps> oh my god, they're sending them! What is that noise? Her singing sent them to the far plane. Fiends fainting in the audience. The best debut I could have hoped for! <laughs> I don't think they thought your song was good. I think they were terrified by it. Can't you hear the voices of my fans? I have to go. My next venue is waiting for me. Oh my god. Um, no, we don't need that. That one was ridiculous. Okay. So we're down to just like having these large ones. Um, so we need to, to be doing those. Yeah, we need to catch, we need to catch the other large ones. Oh no, not Valiant Luster. That's right, we switched over. We're doing the double XP now. Covenant of Growth. Oh, not Lady Luck. Um, Covenant of Growth and Mascot. And then, Black Lore and Iron Duke. Okay, so Beacon L. All right, King Tokuba. I think that's it. I think I only had one slot. Let's make sure. Yes, we only had one slot. Okay, so these are all large ones left that we will work on next time. All right. Let's go save. Oh, not, not, not super speed. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys. So, if you are watching the recorded version on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week for some, um, something different. We're going to be playing a new farming sim called Sun Haven. All right. So I will see y'all there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.